Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a trip to the Brindabella Ranges, just over four hours south of Sydney and right next to Canberra, our nation's capital in the ACT. That's the Australian Capital Territory. So sit back and enjoy as 990 Dave and I explore this great area. Dave and I travelled by as many back roads as we could to avoid the boring freeway. Dave said he had a great track in mind to take me on to get me warmed up for the dirt. He said it was just a little bit of bush that would take us in the general direction of where we wanted to go. So we're in the bush, it's been raining. There's a creek crossing coming up that we're worried about. But there's water everywhere and there's floods that we don't know and we're worried about them too. Good luck. Good luck. Oh shit. You okay? Yeah. You need a hand? No. Just went off course. Oh. That's alright, come back for that later. Dave recovering his pannier. So after Dave's shortcut turned out to be a schmozzle, we did a U-turn, headed back to the road, and stuck to the original plan of just getting to the bush before we start our adventure. Wow, oh, look at that view. It's awesome. We're headed for McIntyre Hut. Uh, it's about another 25 k's away, probably all downhill too. There goes Dave on the big 990. Uh, this is the descent down into camp, so we're camping McIntyre Hut. I'm about, as my thing say, uh, probably about 7 k's from the hut. We've been going downhill for a few k's, so it's going to be a good climb out tomorrow. The sun's getting low. Hopefully we make it to camp before it's dark, because down in the valley the sun's going to drop over the rise over there pretty soon oh whoa it's quite fun going down let's see what it's like in the morning coming back up Whee! and here we are the final descent into McIntyre's hut. Never been down here before. A nice little switchback. Just taking it easy, it's a bit skatey this surface. And this is McIntyre's hut. As the sun was soon going to be setting over the hills around us, we wasted no time in unpacking our bags, setting up our tents, and settling in for the night. So we've left camp, and we're on our way to meet a fellow CRF rider, Steve, back at a place called Piccadilly Circuit. So it's probably about 28 k's from camp. And, uh, 990 Dave and myself are heading there now. Oh, here we go. To meet Steve. Well, yeah. So 
but I've just done probably about 8 k's of total uphill to get to the top of the peak here from camp taken the luggage off the bike and it's back to feeling like the light little sprightly mountain goat it is it's so good even just that probably eight maybe kilos of luggage all the time you've got the bag tent what else have I got in there sleeping bag sleeping mattress food clothes probably be about eight kilos I'll try to weigh it when I get home but just the difference the bike now with just the little tail bag with just minimum supplies feels awesome coming up and down I'm just waiting for 990 Dave to come I just took off first to save him from the dust when he gets here we'll head off and head for Piccadilly circuit find our mate Dave's made it up. How was that? That was really fun. Yeah, it's a good little hill, isn't it? Yeah, it is good. <laughs> Have any moments or are you okay? No, no, all good, yeah. All right. Great, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we can do it again. <laughs> well, we will, don't worry. <laughs> all right. Dave and I are just coming up to a turn off. We're looking for it. It should be just up here somewhere. Yep, this is it. So this is the start of Twin Sticks Road. And this is going to take us back to Piccadilly Circuit. I keep wanting to say Piccadilly Circus, but I know that's not right. Maybe it is. Let's have a look at where we're going here. Right. So this is the end of sticks hopefully meeting Steve here let's have a look this is the spot and I'd like to say 901 I'm one minute late but I'm still beating Steve, so I win. Here comes Dave. So a slight problem to our plan. I'm not sure if you can hear in the background, there's the distant roar of rally cars. And apparently our mate Steve's just informed us that he's not able to get through because there's a car rally happening in the bush and this road he can't get into. So it looks like we're on our own, Dave. Maybe we go find some rally cars to. Yeah, we can we can do that, yeah. but uh, let's go to the top of the highest mountain and see what we can see. Good idea. All right. Here goes Dave. We're heading to the summit, of Mount Corrie. go start of the climb up Mount Cory I don't know if you can see it properly on camera but we're not even halfway up yet and there's just awesome views we found this great campsite here right on the edge it'd be awesome waking up in the morning and seeing that weather's not looking the greatest but hopefully it'll hold off for a little while later you ready to keep going Dave yeah, I want to stay warm. Yeah, it's a bit cold, isn't it? Alright, let's go. Okay. We're about to go up these squiggly lines. Dave's a little bit apprehensive about the switchbacks, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's go see what it's all about. That says, whoa, Dave's sideways already. It says 1.3 k's to the top. I have actually been here before. And it looks nice and graded compared to when I was here last. That 990's got some torque. A little 300 lives on revs. 
he's taking the first of the lines. struggling on bikes and people are running up here for fun. Warning, dangerous cliff line. Alright. Get that in the back of my mind. Stop before I get to that dangerous cliff line. Ooh-wee. Let's turn the engine off. Wow. wow, indeed. We did it, Dave. We had reached the summit and we were rewarded with stunning views. Even on this overcast and slightly spitting rain day, the views were amazing. Saying goodbye to Mount Koree. Very rocky up here. Yeah, the track up sparsely improved from when I was last year. It's quite easy now. All this rock you see at the edge, pretty sure when I was here last that was covering track and made it very interesting. It's all nicely graded now. If you're in the area definitely come up, check this out. It's not that hard, take your time, go slow, you'll make it easy. Try not to cut Dave off in the corners. You really notice the difference in how nimble the little bike is compared to a big bike. Just the tip in weight, turning circle, things like that. As I can just come and turn really sharp, come through. Dave's got to take a bit more of a, a bit more of a bigger turning arc, control the speed and weight. He's doing a good job. Whoa. Put a new point in on the GPS, somewhere we haven't been, and we're off to see what that's all about. Here's Dave, and it's Baldy Ridge Trail we're heading on. Let's see where this takes us. Oh, it's looking good already. Almost single track. Judging by the way the trail's worn, I think it's mostly bikes that have been down here. Oh, something hit me. Some good trails here. This is what I was expecting, really rough, loose. There we go, we've got the downhill now. Oh, yep, that's loose. I've got to go at my own comfortable speed, which is a little bit faster than Dave's. 
so I'm not on the brakes and I can have better control. My suspension's not compressed because I'm not braking and it's able to soak up the bumps better. So here we are Dave, top of another mountain. Oh, another one? Yeah, how good are these tracks? They're so good. How many mountains are we going to do today, do you think? Oh, I don't know. I think three or four at least. Sounds good. So I'm not sure what this one's called. I'll have to look it up and see if we can put it in the video. Maybe we're the first to discover it. Could be. What do you want to name it, Dave? Um, I mean, you can have this one. It'll be Sean Mountain. Sean Mountain. Yeah, I like it. Knob's good. Ball Knob? Yeah. Yeah. It's only small. It's small. Yeah. Now let's have a look down here. Just want to show you if you can see my tube and tool still held in place nicely. Chunky engineering. Uh oh. This could be a problem. Alright. Time to sort this out. Here comes Dave. Around this way, Dave, and try to swing around there. Yeah, I had some problems here on a little bike, so that Dave can do. Oh, look at that. Like an enduro block gun. said 990s can't do single track. Well done. It's a good downhill we're on now. I think there's a creek at the bottom so we're going to see what that's like. Another downhill. Loose surface. Oh. Trying to stay away from Dave's fucking mule. That was a B, not a F. That'll be the power line track. Now this is the start, whoa, of the fire, tra not fire trail, the power line track. So hopefully it's the one we saw when we are at the top of Mount Corrie, because it looked awesome. Oh, looks like the right track, look at that. And that, oh, we'll stop here. So. Up there in the distance, Mount Corrie, where we were this morning. And this is the power line track which we were so enviously looking at, and now we're here. What do you think, Dave? I'm looking forward to it. Right. And here we are, heading down the power line track. It basically just zigzags down as the power lines, oh, you can see it there power lines go straight down and up through this valley and this trail we're on zigzags and follows them hopefully we can make it to the top I do see some shortcuts there I wonder how they'll go this power line track it's pretty good it's really fun lots of switchbacks oh it must be at the bottom So here we are, the other side of the power line trail. That was really fun. Lots of switchbacks going down and up, little creek at the bottom. Nothing too hard, a little bit of loose surface on some of the uh, switchbacks, but we got up fine. Whoa! <laughs> oh geez, I'm flooding now. 
I'm laughing too much at Dave and I <laughs> nearly slid myself. I was having flashbacks to our last ride and Dave doing a 180 in front of me. You alright Dave? Yeah. Good save. I was having flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> alright, so we're back on two sticks and we're following this to the end. As you can see, it's been raining a little bit more, a bit heavier. And the tracks are getting slippery. Dave and I are traveling down this two sticks road. This section, nice and straight, yet somehow, someone's ended up down here in a full drive. It's riddled with uh, beer cans. Don't drive drunk kids. Don't drink and drive. Oh, we're slipping here. Oh, where we are. Just taking it easy. It's that clay that we don't like. Well, it's just like ice in patches. Your tyres don't stick into it. It's very firm, hard. But the top surface is slick as. And so any acceleration, braking or steering input, you're just sliding. Oh. Dave's doing so good. I got full knobbies on and I'm sliding around. He's got like five times my power. Not quite as knobby tires and he's going good. I don't know if you can see this but the cloud has rolled in and we're up the top of the mountain. We're heading down this side to where our camp is. But we're up in the clouds. A little bit drizzle. Visibility's down. The track's not too bad in general. But there's sections where that red clay just catches you out. And as you can see, I'm sticking to the middle where there's like dirt and rocks and rough things to help get traction. The wheel ruts either side, the wheel tracks. There's uh, that slick clay in it and you just, you just slide to whichever side the camber is. And it can be a little bit sketchy. So speeds are way down compared to yesterday coming in here. We're just in survival mode now. Dave's behind me, I'll stop in a second. I don't even want to turn my head to check because I'm just asking for a crash. I'll stop up here and see how he's going. We're so close to camp. Don't want an accident now. work day. Just keep putting along. Here's Dave and I descending, almost about to make the final descent into camp. We're being so cautious, just looking for traction wherever we can find on the edges, oh, in the middle, just not trusting these wheel tracks. It's so slippery. They don't look that wet. They don't look that bad. Let's let Dave get in front. But in sections, there's no traction. It's going to be interesting coming out tomorrow. Better save some film for then. Oh, oh, there we go. Red clay, tight corners. Dave's going ever so careful. just the careful application of power he's doing. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> I only had a minute behind him. Oh. Nearly had a moment, sorry, not a minute. This will be interesting tomorrow coming out. Now 
we've done it. McIntyre's hut over there. And Shonky camp right here. Due to the forecast of overnight rain, we decided to pack up our tents while it was relatively dry and move into the warmer, drier surrounds of McIntyre hut. Here's our hut. Chimney's working fine, there's no smoke inside. And over here, we've got Dave. What are you doing there, Dave? Oh, I'm just reorganising all my pannies, Sean, while it's dry. Yeah, getting things ready for the morning? Yeah. Yeah, good thinking. Love doing a bit of reorganisation. Yeah, I might actually do my packing tonight too. Good. The warm, dry hut was a welcome relief from the day of cold rain. We started the fire and Dave set about cooking us some food. I had some tins of soup and Dave had some pasta. Dave whipped them both together and abracadabra, a hearty meal for two weary adventure riders. So this is it the next morning. We've woken to overcast skies, but no rain. It's a good sign for our drive, our ride today. This was us last night. We stayed in McIntyre Hut, we stayed warm and dry. We were comfortable and warm, we had a good feed. Just gonna have some breakfast, pack up, and then see how much rain we did have up the mountain and on the other side. For our international viewers, these big rabbits are called kangaroos. So here we are, getting up to the top of the mountain. We're currently riding through the, the mist or the cloud level. That's beautiful, it's so magical up here. Not much visibility, it's really pretty. a massive front end loss on the on the red clay holy heck that was my best save I've ever done in my life and just for you guys on YouTube I've recorded it I'm gonna have to turn off now and change my underpants back soon okay so I've had a a little rest a drink of water oh there's a car coming I'm gonna stop here The ranger passed. Give me a little bit more time to calm down. I think I've recovered. Still slightly shaky from my almost massive crash. So I'm just gonna take it easy, catch up to Dave, and I'll update you when we find Dave. So I've made it to the top of the mountain, safely, just. Dave's over here. How did you find the trip up, Dave? It wasn't too bad, Sean. There was um, one section where I don't know, I think you might have been right next to me and I front end washed out and I almost lost it, but other than that it was okay and really amazing running through all this mist. As you can see, we're in the clouds. I've calmed down from my little incident. Dave's having a snack and we're trying to decide which tracks to take to get out of here. Because it's been wet overnight and as you just saw from my little incident, some of them are real slippery. And so we're heading down here. There's a turn we're looking for in a few hundred meters, but in this mist, I'm just going really slow and careful so we don't miss it. And really I can only see 30 meters ahead. Maybe if I'm lucky. Oh, here it is. Dingy dingy ridge fire trail. If I was going fast, I would have missed this. We just dropped down out of the cloud and the mist now and as beautiful as it was it was actually getting quite quite fatiguing because you're concentrating so hard trying to see the track trying to see what conditions where the red clay is 
now we're a little bit lower we've got good visibility and it's really nice the tracks a little bit dry but I'm still not trusting the red clay as you can see I'm riding in the middle where the, the rocks and the rubble is just to get a bit more traction beautiful bit of forest here Definitely not a boring moment here in the Brindabellas. You're up, you're down, zigzagging, going through creeks. It's a really great place to ride. Dave's just being cautious and with good reason too. Neither of us wants to have an off. I don't know if you can tell from the video, but we're back in that red clay. It's a little bit drier, but you just can't tell. It looks dry, but it's slick as ice. Oh, 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 don't be slippy. Oh yeah, here we go. Red clay, two sticks, because we have, oh, I can't even look at the speedo. Oh, well, goes all over the shop. 500, oh, gee, oh. What am I doing, 26 kilometers an hour and I'm sliding out. 500 meters to go. And I'm doing 37 kilometers an hour and petrified. Oh, rocks, here we go. Oh, here we are, we've done it. All right, let me check how our day's going. We made it through, Dave. Well, that was a lot better overnight. Yeah, it was... See that, that one patch where uh, it was very slippery? Like, I did. I uh, followed you through, and I took that as a good indication that I better slow down and concentrate. Good idea. I had my visor up, so it was a bit windy, but just as I hit that patch of clay, one tear just rolled down. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was from the wind or from hitting the clay. Uh, nice. But um, congratulations. Thanks. Thanks We're through the clay. We did it. All right, now just the next slippery 20 or so k's to go. Yeah. You can see the sunshine just filtering through the trees here. It's a welcome sight. We haven't seen the sun. Oh, I haven't seen it for a, maybe a week now. A little glimpse of blue sky. Nice views filtering through the trees. I'll see if I can get us a nice view if there's a clearing. Here's a, oh, a nice little vantage point. Wow, oh, I'm trying to crash. Beautiful. Wow, that is amazing. This is a great look. Just another great view. Looking out over Cotter Dam, I think it is, out to Canberra. Oh. <laughs> Sorry Dave! <laughs> oh, I nearly killed Dave. I um, gestured for him to go around to get a shot. Maybe it wasn't the best idea on a blind corner. Okay, lesson learnt. But he was nearly the hood ornament for those girls. Sorry Dave, I'll buy you lunch. Right now we're heading back for looking for two sticks trail. That's the kind of stuff that interests me on an enduro bike, but probably not on this bike. I, I'll give it a crack and I'd like to say I could get up there. I don't know if Dave will follow though. Okay, I'm gonna go up this hill, fingers crossed. Here we go. Whoa. Wasn't expecting the screen to hit me in the face. Okay, if you can tell by my heavy breathing, Dave and I haven't been having a naughty in the bush. <laughs> then why am I also breathing heavily? <laughs> Shush, Dave. Um, my clever idea of coming up and riding some enduro trails on a little rally. Besides the fact on that first up pinch the screen came up and gave me an uppercut to the helmet. <laughs> um, 
the rest of the track was quite gnarly and we did a little bit of manhandling got up okay or not okay but we struggled got up turned around and now I'm heading back down and happy to get back on the main road all right here we go beautiful and let's stick to the main trails and leave the enduro for the enduro bike oh god day's gonna crash coming down I keep filming so this is another little dotted line on the map that we decided to use to get to two sticks and oh, hopefully it'll get us there with minimum fuss oh. what's going on dave what's that track look like really bad oh, I didn't glance because yeah, the, the first bit looked bad. Yeah, okay. Because that drops down to one stick. Oh, yeah, I I'm can see. I'm not convinced about whether this goes all the way through, but we can keep trying. Hang on, it, it is on my map, so okay. stand by. Right. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely the way. We've got to go another 500 meters. Okay. Then there's going to be one of those pinches down. Yeah, okay. Which will only go for like 100 meters. Yep. And that's, that's our plan. Nice. Okay, so yep. if you can see where we are and where we want to be, that's what we're trying to do. Let's go Dave, 500 metres, turn right. Alright, we're so close to where we want to be, so close. I've just got my fingers crossed and a positive attitude that we can get through. can't, there's a whole lot of detours that we have to take. Oh. Well, Red Clay Hill, this is great. Here we go. Keep going, baby. I didn't thread the needle and Dave did so Dave threaded the needle went up the middle but his sketchy lines made me think it was too slippery so rather than crash I decided to go into the rut which didn't work out well for me so I hit this and now go back take a runoff get up that get to Dave get out of here let's see what happens okay so just come back a little bit Gonna take a run up, get up there. It's not gonna be pretty. I'm just gonna do the job. First gear. A little bit of momentum. There we go. Nice and easy. How's that? Ah, uh, yeah, could have done without falling into the rut, but it was good. I'm glad I got out. So, I don't know if you can see it, but we're here. We're exactly where we planned to be minus about 10 detours so within a couple of hundred meters we're down on two sticks and we're out of here all right let's go Dave right. we get through this we've done it we've survived the Brindabellas it's been awesome we've definitely had our limits pushed Oh, there it is. Genghis Trail, wow. And this is two twin, I keep saying twin, it's two. Two sticks. We're out, this is gonna lead us out. This is gonna lead us out. Whoa, Dave's happy, it's a little jump. Yeah, a little wheelie of celebration myself. So Dave, that was the Brindabellas. That was great. What do you reckon, we've had a top weekend? Yeah, we've had a great weekend. I think we've pretty much um, mapped and explored most of it now. So we've got a good library of tracks. Yeah, and how how varied is the terrain up here? Yeah, it's really good actually. It's kind of something for everyone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's awesome. I've really enjoyed our trip.
thanks, thanks for so coming. Sean. That was awesome. All right, now for the boring bit, heading back home. So this is it. It's the end of the dirt, beginning of the tar, and back to reality. Dave and I had an awesome weekend in the Brindabellas. Thank you for watching, and please, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll keep them coming. We've got more great rides planned for this year, so stay tuned and join us on many more adventures.